Now we're going to test the biceps. So you have the person bend their arm at a 90 degree angle and you press the arm, the upper arm into the body so it's stable. You place your other hand on top of the wrist, the thumb is in the up position, and you ask the person to bring their arm up. Now, let's say they're a little stronger than you are, and do it again, and they go like that, and you lose it. So what you do is you take the other hand, you put it on top, and you say press up, and you lean down. Right? Now you don't want to put your hand here, because that has no leverage, that's going to do nothing for you. Do it again, that's going to be not very not a very good position. So you're here and you ask the person to pull up. The problem with this position is you're not stabilizing this and sometimes that gives you a false positive. But generally, it's okay. Now, if the person still overpowers you with two hands, you're going to lie down on the table. No, you're not going to lie down. You're going to have them lie down on the table and you're going to use a laced position and you're going to use your whole body uh, so you, they will not overcome your force. But we'll show you that in a moment. All right, so the next thing you do is you ask the person to rotate their arm so that the palm starts facing downward and it's going gonna, it's gonna to face the ceiling. So, and then you take your fingers and you lace them like this here and you say, turn your arm up. And they try to do this. You don't let them. You just stop it. Now, what you're doing here is you're working the biceps only. You're not working the brachialis. When you did this first test, you're working the biceps and the brachialis. And when you do the... Uh, supination test, you're only working the biceps. So grasp here and you have the person rotate their arm out and if that one hurts as well, you know it's the biceps and not the brachialis. So now we'll show you the one on the table so you can have uh, a variety of positions in case the person overpowers you. To test the biceps lying down, you're going to have the person lie supine, bend their arm at a 90 degree angle, you're going to lace your fingers here. And this is only done if the person is so strong that they overpower you. And you ask the person to bring their arm up toward the shoulder, and you lean back so that they can't move. And if you have a biceps injury, that's going to be one of the tests that's going to hurt. So again, you lace your fingers, you grab, grasp here, just at, below the wrist, and you say, pull up. And relax. Okay, so that's that alternative method in case the person is stronger than you are.